Let's start getting ready for the warm ups. <coughs> Come to a standing position. We'll start with spinal rotation first. So breathing in, bring your hands at the shoulder level. Hold your breath. Breathing out, rotate the upper torso to the right side. Bring the right hand from behind the waist, left hand on the right shoulder. Turn to the left, right side as much as you can turn. Breathing in, slowly come back with the hands at the shoulder level. Hold your breath, breathing out very slowly, bring it down. Second round, <clears throat> breathing in, bring the hands at the shoulder level, hold your breath. Breathing out, rotate to the left side, left hand from behind the waist. Right hand on the left shoulder, turn to the left side. Breathing in, come back. Breathing out, bring the hands down. Two more rounds on your own, start breathing in. Last round. Now, we will do the same thing a little more dynamically. So after you have brought the hands at the shoulder level, you will do it a little faster. Start. Slowly stop and relax. <laughs> now we will do our cross tapping. So keep the hands across. Get ready. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten. 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 12. Now we'll do a balancing asana, Tandavasana. <coughs> so you will stretch the right leg a little away. Lift to the left leg, left hand is straight, three fingers and thumb together, index finger straight, 
and then bring the other hand with the elbow bend, same mudra, but the index finger pointing towards the ceiling. Fix your gaze at one point, hold your balance as long as you can. Keep breathing normally. Release slowly and we'll practice on the other side. Release slowly and relax. <clears throat> now we'll do Akarna Dhanurasana. So we'll bring the left leg forward. Keep the thumb inside the fist. Straighten the hand. Same fist on the right hand. Bring both the hands together. Focus your attention at one point. Whatever you want to get rid of, that will be your shooting target. Fix your gaze at one point. Breathing in, pull the right hand behind and stretch it as much behind as it will comfortably go. Hold your breath, focusing on your target. Breathing out, release. Second round, keep the hands together. Breathing in, pull back as you are pulling the string of a bow. Hold your breath, release. Third time. Release. And relax. Now the other side, right hand forward. Both the hands together. Now you're going to pull the string with your left hand. Breathing in. Hold your breath. Release. Second round. <coughs> Release. Third round. Release. Then slowly sit down and start the pal body. When I say start, you start. At the end of one minute, I will tell you to stop. See if you can continue Kapal Badi for one full minute. If you need to stop in between, please feel free to do so. Get ready. Start. Stop. So that is one minute. Allow the body to relax. We will repeat one more round of one minute Kapal Badi. So let the body relax a little bit. Start breathing normally. Let the breath become slow and long. When you are ready, Get ready, start.
stop it. Allow the body to relax and then you can be in yogic breathing till we start the class. First let the body relax, let the breath become slow and normal and then you start yogic breathing. ready to chant mantra om seven times make your sankalpa i am chanting om creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences antibodies and viruses i am creating three layers of protection on my outermost layer i have six friendly creatures an elephant behind me a peacock in front, a tiger on my right side, a lion on my left side, an eagle above my head and a black tortoise below me. Inside of that I have a big ring with balls of fire. I am lighting all the balls, allowing a firewall of protection to go up all around. Third layer of protection comes from the subtle energy of the mantra Om that I am chanting. Take, it, take your awareness to Muladhara Chakra at the perineum. Four petal lotus, red color. Take a deep breath in. Om. Shift your awareness to Swadhisthana Chakra at the spinal terminus, six petal lotus, orange color. Increase pitch a little bit, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Manipura Chakra behind your navel, 10 petal lotus, yellow color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Anahata Chakra behind your heart center, 12 petal lotus green color. Increase your pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift 
Your awareness to Vishuddhi Chakra, we find your throat pit 16 petal lotus, blue color, increase your pitch further to the deep breath. Shift your awareness to Apnya Chakra behind your eyebrow center, in the center of your brain. Two petal lotus, indigo color. Increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shift your awareness to Sahasrara Chakra, center of the top of your head, thousand petal lotus, white color, increase pitch further, take a deep breath. Shanti Mantras Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejas Vina Madhita Mastu Mavidhishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Keep your hands in Linga Mudra, pay attention to how you are holding your Mudra. If you are unnecessarily tightening the interlace of the fingers, just become mentally aware and conscious and relax it. Observe how you are holding the erect thumb. Is it relaxed or tense? If you feel it is tense, mentally relax it. How are you holding the thumb and the index finger that rotates around the left hand thumb? Are they tense? Are they tight? Mentally relax them if they are. Feel the whole mudra of being held in a very relaxed way. Relax your shoulder, relax your neck, relax your head and forehead. Mentally become receptive to the vibrations of the mantra that you are chanting. Make your sankalpa, I am chanting Mahamritinjaya mantra for physical health and mental well-being. Chanting the mantra every day helps me maintain the best of health mentally and physically. All my brain cells and my body cells are operating optimally and in harmony with each other. I can feel your grace, my Lord, penetrating deep into my body, energizing each and every brain cell and body cell, keeping me in pristine health at all times. I bow down before you, <clears throat> thanking you from the bottom of my heart for keeping me in pristine health and I promise to put in efforts from my side for keeping my body in a healthy condition. Be fitting for you to recite inside my body in your effulgent form. Om Trayambakam Vijamage Sugandham Pushtivardhanam Urvartam Iva Vandhanan Vrityur Mukshi Yamamritat Om Trayambakam Vijamage Sugandham Pushtivardhanam 
ಪೂರ್ವಾಕವಿವ ಬಂಧನಾನ್ ಮೃತ್ಯೋತ್ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ಓಂ ತ್ರಯಂಬಕಂ ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿಂ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಪೂರ್ವಾಕವಿವ ಬಂಧನಾನ್ ಮೃತ್ಯೋತ್ಮುಕ್ಷೀಯಮೃತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 slowly release your hands keep them on your knees keep your body completely steady in the steadiness of that body pay attention to the parts of the body that is coming in touch with the ground which are the different parts how each one of them is relating to the ground in terms of the pressure that you can experience between them and the ground how do you feel is the weight of your body distributed between the two sides so pay attention to your sit bones how are they pressing on the ground if your body weight is equally distributed the pressure between two of them has to be the same can you sense it or can you feel that one side seems to be pressing more which could be because your body weight is shifted to that side for the pressure don't do any adjustment just let it be recognize what your body is doing right now at this point in time you are only trying to go deeper into your own self awareness you are not making any changes or adjustments at this point if the weight is shifted to one side recognize the weight is shifted to one side Now bring your attention to your breath. As you breathe in, be completely focused and be aware that you are breathing in. If possible, trace that breath from the nose right up to the lungs. As you hold your breath, experience each and every part of the body being energized completely. as you breathe out feel all the cares and the worries of the body and the mind are being pushed out finally hold your breath outside feel the whole body is completely purified energized and rejuvenated If your mind has wandered bring the mind back to this focus breathing in trace the breath hold your breath energize each and every part of the body as you breathe out you are flushing out all the cares and the worries of the mind and the body trace the breath from the lungs outside up to the nose tip hold your breath outside feel the whole body is purified energized and rejuvenated last round and then gently rub your hands keep them on your eyes feel completely grounded gently open your eyes we're going to practice the meditative portions so before we get on to the actual meditation we'll do one round of surya namaskar no shavasana after that one forward bending one backward bending one asana on prone one asana on supine and then we'll get on to the meditation practice so get ready for surya namaskar only one round right side left side 
Since all of you are familiar with Surya Namaskar, just get going on your own pace. As you complete it, sit down. Once you have completed the first practice in sitting position is Shashankasan. <clears throat> Shashankasan, which is sort of preparatory for Shirasasan, is the one we will practice. So you will first of all, breathing in, raise both the hands up, hold your breath. Breathing out, you will bring both the hands down, bring your head down, then try to keep the top of the head on the ground, lift your thighs up, bring the hands behind. Then slowly come back, as you will come up, raise your hands up and then bring your hands down. Now, instead of raising the hands, you can keep your hands at the back. Just breathing in, tilt your chin up. Breathing out, come down. Place the top of the head on the ground. Hold your breath. Bring your thighs up. Knees are on the ground. As you breathe in, come up. And relax. One last round on your own. Very good. Slowly release. Now you practice one practice on your prone position, so lie on your stomach. Directly Shalabhasana. 
you will keep both the hands outstretched in front of your head raise both the leg as you breathe in raise both the legs up both the hands up head up slowly while you release come back very slowly breathing out second round as you breathe in slowly come up hold your breath as you breathe out very slowly release out of that contraction feel a nice contraction on the backward area lower spine particularly your front side the rectus abdominis lengthens as you come up second round i mean last round sorry and then slowly come out of that contraction then turn on your back you're going to practice matsyasan so you'll come into padmasan first keep both the elbows by the side then catch hold of your toes slightly tilt your head up try to place the top of the head on the ground when you want to come up first use the elbows to lift the head up let the head rest down then release your padmasan second round very good last round after you have completed the last round you will lie in shavasan for just 2 minutes allow the body to relax Now slowly turn to one side sit up so we're going to start with familiarizing ourselves with the last chakra which is agnya chakra beyond that you have bindu and sahasrara which are considered not really as chakras but as part of super consciousness now in terms of physiological location your agnya chakra is supposed to be located at the place where a pineal gland is in the center of your brain to visually or mentally visualize the location of agnya chakra is a little difficult there are two three substitutes one of them is the easiest substitute is to just focus on your brumadhya the eyebrow center virtually substituting the brumadhya as the agnya chakra itself another way to do it is where your brumadhya is at the same level where you come to your ears and you draw a straight line at this level so it's going like this from here to here and you draw a straight line from your brumadhya to that line perpendicular to it the point where you visualize the two lines meet at right angles to each other is the location of your agnya chakra and it is in the same line as your spinal cord although the spinal cord terminates at the brain stem but you can visualize that the shishumna comes all the way up to this agnya chakra point now to facilitate 
the location of this, there are three practices that are prescribed. The first of this is called Shambhavi Mudra, which we have done before. So we'll just try and practice it now. Keeping your eyes open, you will try to bring both the eyeballs to focus at your Brumadhyaya. Although your eyes are open, you will have no external visualization of anything except your focus at the Brumadhyaya. Continue to do that till your eyes become tired of that focus. When your eyes become tired, just close your eyes and gently fo continue to focus at the same space. See whatever you can see. Then once again open the eyes, continue to gaze at the eyebrow center, experience this effect that although your eyes are open, you can't see anything else in the room because the focus is towards your own eyebrow center. You want to close your eyes, then you can close the eyes. Please close the eyes whenever you feel like. Different people have different capacities, so you go according to yours. Continue to gaze at the eyebrow center with the eyes closed. Once again, open the eyes, continue to gaze at the eyebrow center, see how you cannot see anything else in the room. When you want to close, you will close your eyes, continue to focus at the Brumadhyaya. Fourth round. Last round. And relax. So the first practice to try and activate your Akhya Chakra. The second practice is called Trikuti Sandhanam. In this practice you will keep your eyes closed. And you will try and practice with me. Your focus of your attention will be at the Brumadhyaya. And try and see if you can experience the pulse beat at the Brumadhyaya. Initially you may feel nothing. As you keep trying to experience the pulse beat at the Brumadhyaya, slowly you will start feeling it.
once you are able to feel the pulse beat mentally chant om with each pulse beat with complete awareness at brumadhya If your mind has wandered, bring it back to the pulse beat at the Brumadhyaya and the chanting of Om in synchronization with it. Now slowly give up this awareness, become aware of your body and then slowly open your eyes. So we are going to do the third practice. Third practice is your Tratak which you have done before. So when you are ready you will once again close your eyes, bring your attention to your Brumadhyaya. And you will visualize the image of a burning lamp. Your focus will be on the flame. As you breathe in, you will visualize that you are drawing energy from the flame towards your Aknya Chakra at the location I indicated, at the cross between the line from the ears and the perpendicular from the Brumadhyaya. As you breathe out, the energy is flowing back from that Brumadhyaya from that Aknya Chakra towards the flame in Brumadhyaya. Keep going back and forth. Now start adding the mantra Om to it as you breathe in mentally chant Om. As you breathe out keep chanting Om mentally.
slowly complete the practice if you want you can open your eyes relax a little bit if you want to stretch your legs stretch your legs when you are ready we are going to go into a japa japa stage 5 So, a japa japa stage five. You will go systematically, step by step. For this whole practice, will be done in kechari mudra with ujjayi pranayam. So, first you will just familiarize yourself with the kechari mudra and the ujjayi pranayam. So, kechari mudra is to turn the tongue backwards with the tip of the tongue going as far back as it can trying to touch somewhere in the upper palate once you kept the tongue in that position while you breathe in you will make the hissing sound that comes when the air is touching the epiglottis so that's how you will breathe So it's a the hissing sound is such that somebody standing next to you cannot hear unless they come very close to your face. <coughs> so the sound is slightly subtle. You can only hear it yourself. So just continue this practice: Kechari Mudra, breathing in in Ujjayi, breathing out in Ujjayi. Let the breath be long as you can, and keep counting how much are you. counting when you breathe in how much are you counting when you breathe out and then try to make both of them equal If you want to release your tongue, release, but continue the breathing. Keep the breathing soft, long, and slow. When you feel you have rested your tongue, once again fold the tongue back. Now, as you breathe in in Ujjayi. imagine that your breath is coming up and as you are breathing out the breath is going down continue
Now release your tongue once again and relax a little bit. Continue the breathing. Once again, fold your tongue in Kachari Mudra. You are going to now visualize the breath moving up from uh, Muladhara Chakra, piercing each chakra as it goes up. So from, from Muladhara, it will raise, pierce Swadhisthana, pierce Manipura, pierce Anahata, pierce Vishuddhi and reach Akna Chakra. Now you must synchronize it in such a way that by the time you finish your breath, the breath is at Akna Chakra. Then you will start breathing out. As it comes down, it will pierce Vishuddhi, pierce Anahata, pierce Manipura, pierce Swadhisthana and then come back to Muladhara. Your breathing out is complete. So start this process in Ketri, in Ujjayi. Once again, release your tongue. Continue the breathing with the eyes closed. Let the tongue rest. Once again, fold your tongue in Kachari Mudra, last part of the practice. As you breathe in and you feel the energy piercing the chakras, you will mentally include the mantra so. As you breathe out, you will include the mantra hum, continuing to pierce each chakra as you go up and down. And you will do this for five minutes. If possible, if you need to rest your tongue, release it and go back to it. I'll call out once five minutes are over. If you want to stop in between, stretch your legs, feel free to do so.
Slowly release your posture, release your tongue. If you want, stretch your legs out. Experience the effect of what you have practiced so far. Feel whatever you can feel at your Ratna Chakra. If you can activate your Ratna Chakra, it becomes powerful. They say you can know about the future, past and the present. You become intuitively very strong. You start getting into the realm of superconscious. They also say that Rakhna Chakra is the gateway between your mundane day-to-day -day life and the superconscious. It's a connect between the two. And now you're going to practice Nadi Shodhan with all the three bandhas for five full minutes. So you'll breathe in from the left, hold, then Javadar Bandha, Udyan Bandha, Mula Bandha. Then release Mula Bandha, Udyan Bandha, Javadar Bandha, then breathe out from the left, right. Hold your breath. Again, Jalandar Bandha, Udyan Bandha, Mula Bandha. Release Mula, Udyan, Jalandar, then breathe in from the right. And continue, try to maintain a count. Keep increasing the ratio. Ultimately reaching a ratio of 1 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4. So start whatever you count for breathing in. Try to hold at least double that count. Then as you breathe out, at least breathe out for one time that count. Then again hold for two times. If possible, make it 1 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1. And then finally, 1 is to 4 is to 2 is to 4. Five minutes. Continue non-stop. If you want to rest your hands in between, rest. If you want to stretch your legs in between, stretch. Be comfortable in your own, ro in your own zone.
Complete your round and stop your practice. And then last two minutes you are going to practice Chakra Shuddhi. <clears throat> so you keep your hands in Gyan Mudra. Bring your attention to your Muladhara Chakra. You will mentally chant the Bija Mantras, so it will be Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om. So as you come up, so the way you will do it is mentally start your position at Muladhara, chant Lam, then start breathing in, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om. Then start breathing out. Uh, om, Ham, Yam, Ram, Vam, Lam. Continue. Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om. Om, Ham, Yam, Ram, Vam, Lam, Lam, Vam, Ram, Yam, Ham, Om, Om, Ham, Yam, Ram, Vam, Lam. Continue. One last round. Continue in that same passion till I finish blowing the shank. Keep the Bija mantras going. Get ready to chant mantra Om three times. Make your sankalpa and chanting Om, creating protective energy field around me that keeps me protected from all external negative influences, antibodies, and viruses. Take a deep breath in.
शांति मंत्र असतोम सदगमय तमसोम ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा मृतम गमय स्वस्तिर्भवतु शांतिर्भवतुर्ण मंगल लोका समस्ता सुखिनो ओम त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधम पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकम वंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता ओम शांति 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 हरिगियो कभी हैंड्स नाइसली When they are warm, keep them on your eyes. Feel the warmth flowing in from the palm into the eyes. Gently open your eyes. Be observant of colors you see when you open your eyes. Slowly release your hands. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. Hari Om Tat Sat. So have a great week ahead. Whenever you want to do any important work which requires a lot of mental. inputs try and practice this ajna chakra practice before you do that work for 5 10 minutes and then try and do the work and see how it makes a difference so try and practice it and see whether you it makes a difference in the work that you do and uh, see you all on thursday for the last class and then we'll be moving on to the new model from october chalo bye